good effort. Uh, I, I was proud of our guys. Um, we have great respect for St. John's. I mean, they, they, they taught us a lot uh, last game. You know, you, you know, when you get beat like that, you, you got to give them respect. You got to learn from it. And, um, and, and then you got to grow, you know, and, and I think, I think we, we, we did a good job of that. And, um, and they're tough, you know, they're never going to stop coming at you. And, and our, our guys knew they had to play 40 minutes. I thought they did a good job of that playing 40 minutes. All right, we'll go for questions. If anybody has any for coach, please raise your hands or write in the chat and we will get to you. Austin, start us off. Hey, Jay, uh, two questions from me. Um, what changed for you guys from the first meeting you had with these guys to today? It looked like a complete 180 on both ends of the ball. You know, this this season with the pandemic, like you, you don't know what anybody's going through before um, a game the week before. And um, we they just they played great last game. You know, they just they just played great. We, we weren't that bad initially then they just played great and started wearing us down and and we, we just could we couldn't couldn't make a run at them you know and, and we tried and then tonight it was the opposite you know like we played great and we, we got all up on them early and then you know they tried to make a run and couldn't it was kind of the exact same game both ways you know and that's just part of coaching 18 to 22 year olds like I could try to analyze a couple of things but we were clicking tonight, really clicking. And when we played them up there, they were really clicking. And with Brandon, I want to ask about Brandon. You know, he had those two dunks early on in the game. You know, he's coming along as the year goes on. How important will his role be heading into March, into the Big East tournament, into the NCAA tournament? He's really important, you know. And um, guys like Brandon, Cole, Cole Swider, um, Eric Dixon, um, Brian, Antoine, like they're the guys that really got impacted by no spring, no summer, really no fall for us. And then this pandemic, I mean, then the quarantines in the middle of the season, you don't have time to work with the guys you want to develop. You know, you got to get the guys that are going to play, you got to get them straightened out. So they're, and they're smart about it. I, I, I really respect their patience with, you know, but we need them. We need them all. And it was, it was, they, they, they're getting there. You know, we're just running out of time here, you know, in a short season. All right, Jay. Thank you. Take care. Take care, Austin. Dan, go ahead. Hey, Jay. Um, you gave Antoine some run in the first half today. Is he, is he healthy enough that you think he can make a, a yeah. big contribution as a, as a rotation player coming up down yeah. the stretch? That's the key. He's, that's the key. He's healthy. And, and guys, I, you know, I, I would, if any of you wanted to do a story, I would do it. I, you can't believe how much he's missed, how many practices, it, on every possible way. But he's starting to get comfortable with what we're doing. And, and that's why we can get him in there. It's just not fair to put a kid in there that has no clue what you're doing. And it's not his fault because he hasn't practiced. And he's healthy, though. He, he, the first was getting him healthy, right? We got him healthy so he could practice. And now he's starting to put some practices together. And, and, and now we're just going to try to keep bringing him along. Joe, go ahead. Uh, Jay, you said yesterday that uh, the two things you wanted to see was attacking the press instead of running away from it and matching their physicality. Um, how did you think they fared in both those areas? I think, I think we did a good job, Joe. I, I really do. Um, they are a really physical team. And... Um, not, not most teams are physical that you say are physical. It's around, it's around the paint. They're physical. After you get a rebound, they're right in your face in their press. In, like they're physical in the open floor, which is hard to play against. Cause you don't see that anywhere. And as I told you, we can't simulate it. So um, I think you and I talked about this. Our, our guys, our, our, our second team did a good job of simulating that. And um, I think our defense is, is getting better. Thanks, Jay. You got it. Glenn, go ahead.
Glenn, go ahead. Oh, you got it. Yeah. I'm sorry, Michelle. I was, couldn't have some trouble getting off mute there. Okay. It looked like early in the game, it looked like the way you started, that Colin helped set a tone there uh, that the rest of the team picked up on. Do you think that's um, an accurate assessment? Definitely. He, he is, um, you know, he's, he's our heart and soul. He's our engine. I mean, you see him come out like that and, and just be so tough and so aggressive. Um, and, you know, that's what college athletics are all about. He, he had a tough game against them last time. They did a great job on him. And he comes back with great confidence and not trying to do it all on his own, just getting other people's shots, making the right plays. Um, that's what's amazing about him. It, it, it's, um, it's the sign of a great leader. And how pleasing for you as a, as a coach, you know, during that, that little stretch early that two of the players that want to earn some more time, Antoine and, and uh, Slater, came up with like the highlight reel with the steal and the dunk. I mean, how much does that, does that excite the team? And, and, and you as a coach, too. Yeah, they, they gave us a great they gave us a great spark there in the in the first half. And, you know, that's what you're really into as a coach. Like you want to see these guys grow. That's why you coach college. Um, you want to see these guys grow and you want to see them um, learn how to play at this level and, and gain confidence in themselves and learn life lessons for, for how hard they've worked to get to this point. It, it, that that really, in the long run, excites me more than, than wins. Thank you, Jay. Yep. Josh, go ahead. Hey, Jay. Uh, can you just talk uh, about the decision and the opportunity to get Trey um, some game minutes? Yeah. I really, I never thought we were, I never thought we were going to, but, um, you know, he, what he, he's learning a lot in practice and he's helping us. It's valuable. Um, but, but Mike, you know, put in some of his walk-ons and I, I didn't want to have any starters out there. So I kind of had to put him in there and he really didn't know what he was doing. I, I felt bad for him a little bit. I asked him, what spot do you know? And he started to explain to me one of the spots and then I could tell he didn't know it. Um, but it was just, I'm sure it was fun for him to get out on the court. Thanks, Jay. You got it. Does anybody else have, oh, Austin, go ahead. Jay, kind of relating to that question, and I know you probably don't want to reveal anything too soon, but is was that just a matter of him getting game action or, or can we see a little bit of him going forward? Yeah. I. I I don't think Austin, I, he, you know, it, it's hard to come in in a, this is a crazy year as it is. So it's so hard to come in and, and learn what we're doing uh, at the point he came in. Um, now you could see Brian, you know, Brian Antoine struggling with it. Eric Dixon struggling with it. Yeah. it it's, it's hard for him. So, it, I, you know, it was fun. You know, Mike, Mike put his uh, walk on in first. So, um, you know, you, you always respect the the opponent. You want to do that, so it was it was good. I'm sure it was fun for him. We got to get the other guys going. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna add. Like, I haven't seen any walk ons get in yet this year. You know, I was looking at. We don't have. We don't. Uh, well, we have we have won, and um, you know what? I, I wanted to get the other guys time. You know, and we yeah. only have one because we're trying to keep our our numbers small, <laughs> so we don't you know we don't get anybody infected. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Jay. Does anybody else have a question for coach? If so, raise your hand. Thank you, coach. That's all. Thanks, guys. Hey, you doing, Colin? Congrats on the win, man. You know, it feels like we jump on these Zoom calls when we ask you guys about preparation. You know, it's usually the same thing. It's like, you know, we treat every game the same way. But after struggling against St. John's out in Queens, did you guys take this one personally and yourself, you know, specifically? I mean, it just seems like you're playing with a different fire out there to start. No, nah, not not at all. Um, we just we just had to get back to playing Villanova basketball, uh, making sure that we were defending and rebounding. Um, this was our most important game because it was our next game. It wasn't because it was against St. John's uh, or anything like payback or like that, but. Um, it was our next game, so it was a, our most important game, and we respect them. They, they're, they're a great team. They're very tough. They're physical, so it was a great test for us um, and see where we're at, and um, I think we could keep getting better. We're going we're gonna to go, go back to work tomorrow and um, learn from it and grow. And what did those back-to-back -back dunks by Brandon Slater uh, in the first half do for you guys to get you guys going a little bit? Yeah, they were, they were huge. Um, our bench 
brought great energy off the bench. Um, guys like Cole, Slate, and then Brian came in, made a huge play, getting a deflection, and diving out of balance and getting it, keeping it alive. So, um, like I said before this game, um, the day before, those are the guys that we're playing against every day in practice, and they're really um, getting into us and, and making it tough for us in practice. So we have a ton of confidence in those guys when they come to the games because they're we know that they're making plays in practice like that. Thank you. Joe, go ahead. Colin, you scored eight points in the first five and a half minutes. Uh, how important was it for you to set a tone uh, for the team tonight? Yeah, I was trying to do it on the defensive end, and, and other guys were doing a great job of just making plays. Um, and then we were getting we were getting the ball in the lane, and guys were uh, kicking out, and I was just being aggressive to catch and shoot. Um, and then we know that they get into us and pressure us, so I was just running offense to score um, and taking what they gave me. And coach mentioned that it was important that you guys uh, attack the press tonight instead of running away from it. How do you feel you did in that regard? As a yeah, team? I think we did a good job of just, like I said, running offense to score. Um, if they open up the floor, we we're just going to kick it ahead and um, beat the press to make plays and make plays to score. And I think we did a really good job of that. Thank you. Len, go ahead. Oh, and how important was it to get off to a good start tonight, you know, to establish yourself against St. John's? Yeah, I mean, it was good for us um, just just because they, they could really get into you, um, speed you up, and, and, and kind of change the game with their speed and the way that they come at you um, physically and, and with the press. So um, I think our guys did a really good job of handling it, just looking up the floor and making the right play. David, go ahead. Hey, Colin, how would you assess how your team looked this time around compared to last time you played St. John's? Yeah, I, I think we learned a lot about ourselves, about the speed of the game. Um, I think we just slowed down, and um, the press gave us problems the first time around. But this time, I, I think guys were just being strong and physical with the ball and um, looking up the floor and making the right play, like I said. Uh, so I think we did a good job in that regard. And then on the defensive end, we had guys – uh, making plays and um, bringing great energy off the bench. Eugene, go ahead. Hey, Colin, uh, what do you have to say about the way that the younger guys played today, especially, you know, Brian Antoine and Trey Patterson, just being able to get in and what were they able to add to the floor today? Yeah, like I said, in practice, those guys really push us. Um, and, and those guys make it really difficult for us in practice. So we know what they're capable of. Um, and we're lucky that they're on our team and, those are guys that are, are the future uh, of this program. So they come in, they play hard. You see Brian make a play like that um, on the sideline where he's diving out of bounds, throwing the ball back in bounds, and he's getting really excited about it. That's that's important, um, and that's a really good play for us, and that's something that we get excited about. And then you see a guy like Trey coming at the end of the game who's still learning everything, still learning the concepts uh, and what it means to play here. So um, those guys are, those guys are going to be really good. Um, they're going to keep learning and keep getting better. And we're lucky to have those guys on our team. Does anybody else have a question for Colin? If so, raise your hand. Thank you, Colin. Thank you. So for, for you guys, you know, going back to the first St. John's game where they, they ran you out of the gym tonight, you returned the favor. What changed between that and, and tonight? Oh, we just like the game. Oh, during the game, uh, we just wanted to come out and just set the tone early, and um, just just set the tone for the night early, and just follow that and ride that uh momentum for the rest of the night, and then just um play hard for one another, and just step up for each other defensively, uh, make the right plays both on both ends of the court, and uh, trust in each other. All right, thanks, Kelly. Eugene, do you have a question? Yeah, sorry, I was about to raise my hand. No, but, um, you're good. You're all set. Go ahead. Uh, hey, Caleb. Um, you know, it had been kind of a, a rough shooting stretch for you lately. Um, what was different today? How were you able to just find your stroke and find a rhythm on the floor today? Um, it's just uh, approaching every day the same, uh, trusting in the work that we put in as a team. Uh, we put in a lot of detail on shooting and uh, trusting in each other to make the right plays to each other. So I have to say just uh, trusting in the work that we all put in and uh, when we're shooting our shots and when we're passing to each other in practice. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Thank you.